Hi and welcome to this MySQL Workbench tutorial. Uh, this is the screen that you see when you open your MySQL Workbench version 8.0. On the left menu go to this uh, modeling design icon, click on it and uh, you will uh, see the models that you already have. We do not yet have a model so we create a new one, click on File, New Model and a new window opens up with a model overview where we just want to add a diagram. So double click here on this icon and a new ER diagram opens up. Uh, in the left side window here you can see all the icons that we need to design the model um, here is, for example, the icon for a table. If you, we select it, click on it, then there will be uh, a table. We can enlarge the table and if we double click on it, another window opens that allows us to give the table a table name. Let's say we want to model a um, a database on landowners and their properties. So we start with the landowner uh, and we add some uh, columns, some attributes to it. When I just click here it suggests the ID of the landowner as an integer data type. That is perfect so we can leave it like this. Uh, let's make it the primary key. So PK here stands for primary key. Um, uh, automatically it also selects NN which stands for NOT NULL so a primary key needs to be filled in. Uh, let's define some other attributes for the landowner like for example a last name, uh, var character of the length 45 is uh, um, a good suggestion and let's have also a first name. Okay, that's it for the landowner table. Uh, we can make that a little bit smaller and now we can add another, another table, our property. So again, click on the table, enlarge that icon so that we can see it. Um, double click on it and again the window opens. So property, uh, the first attribute name again is suggested as ID property, that's fine. We define it again as an integer data type uh, and a primary key that is not null. Another column name here could be for example the city in which this property is or the street name. Uh, both are characters, that's fine. Uh, let's, let's move ahead, uh, that's enough for the moment. We can still fill in for the attributes later on. So we if we want to get rid of that window, we just close it here. The next step is now to select the relationship between the landowner and the property. And as one landowner can have more than one property, but one property can be owned by more than one landowner, uh, we have a many-to-many, -many, an N-to-M relationship. So select that and then um, click on both tables and what you can see that automatically is generated now is an association table. The landowner has property um, table. So let's drag and drop that, that you can actually see the relationship uh, between these tables. And now our landowner uh, property relation, the many-to-many -many relation is automatically split up into two many-to-one or one-to-many um, relations. 
when you open here the indices, you can see that a primary key is already defined automatically uh, in our association table, which is a uh, combined a primary key of the two attributes land owner ID and property ID and we have two foreign keys pointing at the primary keys of the property and the land owner table. So we have now successfully defined a data model for a database.